this episode, Perseverance stands motionless near the jagged boundary of Jezero Crater, facing a region never examined at this proximity. Soon after, the rover advances carefully toward an immense rock structure scientists have named Alta Ridge. But the journey isn't smooth. Loose regolith, uneven slopes, and resistance within a wheel actuator repeatedly interrupt progress. Back on Earth, engineers analyze telemetry for days, recalibrating commands and testing recovery sequences, all to keep the mission moving. Then, on a critical sol, Perseverance breaks through. Covering over 100 meters without stopping, the rover finally settles at the base of Alta Ridge. From above, its wheel tracks arc gracefully across the Martian surface, a visible record of persistence. The ground here is firmer, safer. To the west, the pale face of Alta Ridge rises sharply, layered and imposing. With precise adjustments, Perseverance positions itself beside a light-toned exposure of bedrock, an area scientists believe preserves crucial geological clues. The robotic arm deploys. The abrasion tool spins. Dust scatters. Moments later, a clean circular window appears in the rock. System checks confirm the tool remains in prime condition. Now the Watson camera moves in. Frame by frame, it documents the freshly exposed surface. The data reveals something unexpected. A strong presence of olivine a mineral associated with deep planetary processes and ancient volcanic activity. With analysis complete, the rover turns its attention back to the ridge, capturing a detailed mosaic of its layered structure. At first glance, the formations resemble sediment laid down by water. But water at this elevation would overturn established timelines. A closer inspection shows tilted, fractured layers evidence of forces far more violent than flowing streams. Before departing, Perseverance records a final mosaic of the abrasion site, now designated Verde Point. Its next objective lies higher, a narrow overlook on the crater rim. The initial drive lasts nearly two hours. As the rover moves, the sun sinks lower, flooding the cameras with elongated shadows. For a moment, Perseverance drives directly into the Martian sunset. On a following sol, a sharply angular rock draws attention, its shape unlike the surrounding terrain. NASA issues immediate instructions, analyze it with SuperCam. Days later, the rover pauses and looks back. Alta Ridge now appears distant, a reminder of how much ground has been gained. Fine sand still clings to the wheels, but over time, it will fall away. What if the most silent place in the solar system is also the one holding the greatest number of untold stories? As another Martian day begins, the Curiosity rover sits quietly within the immense stillness of Gale Crater. The rising sun slowly spills light across the dusty horizon, and Curiosity lifts its cameras to capture a full 360-degree panorama. What appears is a vast, uninterrupted landscape. Endless sand, fractured stone, and distant mountains layered by time itself. Scattered across the ground are jagged fragments and smooth, rounded pebbles. Their shapes quietly suggest a past where water once moved freely across this terrain. Nothing here feels disturbed. The surface looks frozen in time, like a perfectly preserved archive of Mars's earliest chapters. Curiosity begins to move forward, slowly carving fresh tracks into the soft red dust. Those tracks curve across the crater floor, pointing toward the towering silhouette of Mount Sharp. Rising high above the plain, the mountain stands like a natural history book its stacked layers recording Mars's transformation from a warmer, wetter planet into the cold desert we see today. As the rover climbs, it approaches increasingly ancient layers of rock. These older formations may contain the most critical evidence yet, 
clues that could reveal whether Mars once had conditions suitable for life. The rover pauses near a collection of unusually shaped stones. Some are fractured, exposing pale mineral veins beneath their surfaces. Curiosity extends its robotic arm with precision, firing lasers and activating spectrometers to read the chemical signatures locked inside. Each scan uncovers another fragment of Mars. Hidden story. The information travels millions of miles back to Earth, helping scientists identify minerals formed by water, track how environments changed over time, and determine whether microscopic life could once have survived here. As afternoon light fades, long shadows stretch across the crater floor. The landscape takes on a haunting beauty, quiet, ancient, and powerful. Every soul, every image, every sample brings humanity closer to answering one of its oldest questions. Was Mars ever alive? Tell us what you think, right now. As the landscape becomes rockier, navigation improves. Small stones give the rover's autonomous systems visual anchors, reducing slippage. After months of gradual ascent, Perseverance nears the edge of Jezero Crater. One final climb, and the rover reaches summit view. Here, on the razor-thin rim, NASA commands a full panoramic scan. For the first time, Perseverance looks beyond Jezero into terrain no rover has ever explored. Mesas, ridgelines, and distant formations align with orbital maps Yet standing here changes everything. Powerful winds sweep across the rim. NASA activates the microphone. What you hear is among the strongest Martian wind recordings ever captured. After completing its survey, Perseverance begins descending toward the plains beyond. Over two sols, it advances hundreds of meters, arriving at a site named South Crossing. From here, the rover continues imaging the path ahead, lowering itself into entirely new geological context. At Clearwater Hollow, another abrasion is ordered. The process is flawless. Scientists begin comparing these rocks with those inside Jezero, searching for clues about the ancient lake that once filled this crater billions of years ago. This episode opens with Perseverance stationed near the northern rim of Jezero, a massive basin shaped by water long ago. For over a thousand sols, the rover has crossed deltas, lava plains, and fractured ground. Now, it stands at a threshold. Beyond lies a region only seen from orbit. Cameras sweep the horizon, capturing sharp ridges, sloping valleys, and distant hills fading into the dust. The light is harsh, the shadows long. Mars still feels untamed. A new directive arrives, climb the rim and investigate a towering outcrop known as Turin Crest. What secrets does it hold? The rock layers here aren't ordinary. They may predate the lake itself. Perseverance advances cautiously. New safety parameters are uploaded. Speed limits reduced, traction systems refined. Then comes the breakthrough Sol. With steady motion, the rover surges forward, clearing the hazard and reaching the flank of Turin Crest. Behind it, wheel marks curve across the slope like a signature etched into Mars. Ahead lies one of the most scientifically significant formations yet encountered. Perseverance enters a rapid traverse phase using advanced self-navigation to process images while driving. Distances once impossible are now covered in record time. As the rover nears the delta, anticipation grows. If Mars ever hosted life, this is where traces may remain. A Martian solar eclipse is recorded. Fragments of the landing parachute are spotted. Flood-deposited boulders line the delta's edge. Layer upon layer of history waits to be decoded. Ingenuity surveys crash remnants from above. Communication falters, then returns. Energy levels recover. The mission continues. Perseverance studies the delta face, 
Preparing for its most demanding climb yet, the path ahead is narrow, the risk is high, but the science is worth it. This journey across Mars is far from over, and what lies beyond the Delta may redefine what we know about the Red Planet. Thank you to our supporters who make this exploration possible. If you're part of this journey, like, subscribe, and share and continue with us as All About Mars Surface uncovers what Mars has been hiding.